Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and a brand new video on Marvel Contest of Champions. I'm incredibly excited because it is Dormammu time. And that is the time to upgrade him to rank 4. I've waited, waited a long time for this. Obviously a lot of people have waited. I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm moaning for or have moaned. Because I knew it was going to happen. It was just going to take time. That's really the lay of the land. You've got to be patient. But, you know, there's one champion you really want to get to rank 4 or you have... The ability to get up to say rank five it's your first ever four star to get to rank five and you're like i'm holding out for this guy and it's like this time has come so what i'm gonna do is uh i'm gonna upgrade him and talk about some of his uh, stats hopefully the attributes kind of change hopefully we get to see some improvements here there so let's get into it so let's start off with the attributes and obviously as you can see off the bat health is 18,639. we've then got an attack of 1283 and when we get to the attributes, we can see 14% on crit rating. We've then got crit damage of 150. We've then got armor of 21 and block proficiency of 56%. So kind of not not amazing on certain stats. Um, I think it's really the signature ability that makes this champion, as well as the things like power burning and all the kind of little things with regards to regeneration, the synergies, things like that that make him a little bit more better than he is. A block proficiency of 56% is all right. But obviously we'll be waiting to see the rank up, to see what changes it makes to the champion and maybe the dynamic in which he's played. Moving on to his signature ability as well as his other standard abilities, hopefully you can see some changes. Not guaranteed obviously with signature ability, it's larger with signature stones that we see and a large increase with regards to that. But a direct damage of 1365 and 88, hopefully that does increase. That will be really handy for stuff that we're going to talk about with regards to dimensional links and uh, the possibility of regenerating as well as the damage output that he can do heavy attacks there we go we've got 52.19 with direct damage uh, per soul bond based on doing a soul bond detonation which i do like doing i like parrying the enemy and then hitting him with it which then you know takes off a large amount of health and uh, it's uh, it's it's pretty cool so uh, i'm hoping for an increase with that and hopefully we can see some some kind of definite damage increase maybe some increased uh, kind of depleting of the max power same thing with power drained uh, so many so many th things i would like to see improved um, but obviously we won't know until we've the point that we've actually ranked up the champion so without further ado let's get this guy upgraded to rank four So there we have it guys, Dormammu has been ranked forward and one of the best things about it is having a look at my avatar with the Dormammu and the legend badge, it just looks, oh yeah, it looks really, really nice. So uh, I'm going to cover that as a, as a nice thing to see. But now it's time to look at the stats with regards to improvement of the attributes and obviously to start off with we can see that the health has increased from 18,000 to now to 25,000 which is great for the champion as well as the attack has gone up to 1,727 which is great. And then when we go up to the other attributes, you can see some small rises in certain places, which, you know, isn't huge, but at the same time, it's all right. Obviously, a lot of these percentages, as it said, is uh, are based on facing a four-star rank five champion. Uh, obviously, with a challenger rating of 100. These things are just a pain in the butt with regards to challenger rating, but it is what it is. So critical rating has gone up to 14.3, 152.1 is a rise on critical damage rating. 22.5%, uh, we've got a, a small rise there with regards to armor, not huge, and then a small rise with block proficiency. So obviously I'm hoping in the future these stats kind of improve because I think it is just based on the abilities of this champion that make him better than he is. It's the, uh, the other stuff which is just kind of uh, somewhat mediocre. So we've got as well a really good rise with regards to direct damage, with regards to D Gen. I'm really hoping to add more signature levels to this champion. Haven't been too lucky with my five star signature stones. Hopefully there's a way that we can get them in the future. Uh, but you know, it is it is what it is. If we get them, we get them. If we don't, then meh. Ah, this is really good. The direct damage on the heavy attack with regards to the soul bond, uh, di direct damage, I think, soul bond detonation. Uh, it's gone up from 52.19 to 70.34 which is brilliant can't wait to get that into into practice uh nothing has changed with regards to the stats of finisher combo with a medium attack which you know uh, wasn't really expecting it again nothing's changed there 
nothing has really changed at all with regards to the special so it's not been a huge change but still it's all about that direct damage increase which is going to be so much more entertaining to see uh, when, I, when I kind of put it into practice with that detonation. And if you are interested it means that last time I think it was 5200 and 19 with regards to direct damage from a soul bond detonation now it's going to go up to 7000 a time so as long as i've got my parries in place it's going to be pretty nice and if that's the case based on that 7034 damage i'll do from a soul bond detonation it means that when i get the imbued empowered dimensional link buff that i get 25 percent of damage of that which potentially is 1758.5 damage regened to me which is well to be honest is pretty pathetic but um we'll try and put that into action when we're facing off against winter soldier in a moment and i'll maybe try and do like a dark empowerment uh, synergy team with that as well uh, but sometimes that doesn't always work it's not brilliant so i may opt for then just doing a team that's going to keep him in longer maybe a guardians of the galaxy team um, or maybe a mutant team that may be better for this circumstance so I have indeed opted for a Guardians of the Galaxy team based on the block proficiency not being great and also the armor not being great on this champion. I want to kind of preserve this and kind of keep this this kind of game running as much as possible just so I can kind of have a look at the way that uh, the, the champion takes his health back and regens as well as other stuff. The Dark Empowerment isn't really kind of good enough and I've just actually realized that I made a mistake in another video where I got a three-star Dormammu and thought that he got Dark Empowerment as well. That's incorrect information, so apologies uh, based on that. I really could benefit from a four-star Dormammu, but uh, obviously I've got to use what I've got and I'm going to use uh, this team to begin with. So let's get into a Winter Soldier battle.
So there we have it guys, Dormammu at his finest. Now I did make a few calculation errors with regards to the regen. The regen was actually coming out at like 2100, which was pretty impressive and that means that it's a lot better than I thought. So it was great to see a lot of health kind of coming back and obviously there were a few kind of playing mistakes by myself. It was a long ass fight to be honest, but the enjoying part of it that I thought was amazing was the fact that I could get myself back into the game by kind of switching up using those dimensional link buffs and getting imbued so therefore everything was just like it was peachy and I didn't have anything to worry about because I was uh, I was in the zone with Mamu. So I'm incredibly excited with regards to what I'm going to do with this character in the future. Two rank fours that I really believe in at the moment is my Dormammu and my Captain Marvel. I'd love to get more signature stones in and increase that soul leech just to increase the amount of degen. And we didn't really see degen too much with regards to um, black attacking, which is a bit disappointing not to see that so prominent. So hopefully that is improving in future when I see it, when I play with him in battle, uh, as well as maybe if he gets used in alliance wars. Uh, FYI, watch out in alliance wars because he will take you out. Um, no, I probably probably won't. You'll probably um, absolutely ate him, but uh, he is hoping. So yeah, uh, Dormammu. I've done plenty of guides, which I'll link in the description for you guys to go and take a look. A lot of people may ask me about regen. I've done a guide on it. It's in the description. People may ask about a complete character guide. Again, in the description. So, uh, you know, don't put a comment saying, oh yeah, how do I do this with Dormammu? How do I do that? Um, look in the description. You'll find all you need to know. Um, I love using uh, parrying because... The biggest problem with Dormammu is timing in that uh, kind of hit once hit again because it's like a do do kind of motion. Um, it's usually best to parry first and then hit in a, a kind of a heavy attack which then will start off your, your soul bond. And as you kind of progress on you'll put that up to 100 and then your choices are either to do a detonation or to get imbued and do an L3 in order to regen your health or you're going to use your, your kind of dimensional link buffs to then do things with regards to improvement as we've seen we can improve the power burn but uh yeah it's just really your choice do you want to keep the power at bay on the enemy or do you want to do something else there's so many things available with regards to what you how you can play Dormammu obviously I would probably recommend using a Guardians team with him because it adds so much extra depth to his armor and his block proficiency and as we know from checking the attributes it's not as significant as others uh, so you know it's it's pretty important to kind of make him stand uh, stand strong because again he doesn't have like, much physical resistance as well which would have been better because seeing the fact that he's it's like he's from the other, another dimension he's meant to be all powerful so apart from that I think he's all powerful in his own right you've just got to really know his abilities and the way to use him but yeah let me know what your thoughts are on Dormammu in uh, the comments below obviously those guides are in the description so go check them out. Thank you very much for all the recent support on the channel. It's been amazing. So testament to you guys. You are the best. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe and all those lovely things. Catch me on social media and the link is in the description below. And I shall catch you on the flip side for another epic rank up video. Bye bye for now.